we're still in the chronological Bible and uh, we're in uh, episode or event 21 out of 55 in Jesus' Galilean ministry. So we're still about AD 27, very early in his ministry. And here he gives a woe to some cities. And two of them, you might not be too surprised because you don't know much about them. But one that he gives a woe to is uh, very much a surprise until you read all of the passage of scripture. And that's Capernaum. It was his base city. Jesus spent a lot of time there. So we're reading in Matthew chapter 11, verses 20 through 30. And we find him giving a woe to Cherizim, Bethsaida, and to Capernaum. And he says, Woe to you cities, even Tyre and Sidon, in those cities would have repented if they had seen what you've seen. Now, what does he mean by that? Well, they saw tremendous miracles. They heard tremendous teachings, and yet they didn't repent. Even Capernaum in verse 23, who had all kinds of blessings by Jesus actually residing there, using it as a base camp, did not repent. And they said, and it said, woe means to pity, not I'm pleased that you're going to be punished, but to pity these cities because they would be destroyed during the Roman invasion. And even though Tyre and Sidon were wicked, very wicked, according to Ezekiel 26, Judges 7, immorality and wickedness rampant in those cities. And yet Jesus says they would have repented if they had seen the things that these cities, Chorazel and Bethsaida, and bless his art, Capernaum, would have repented. Excuse me, Tyre and Sidon would have repented if they had seen the things that Capernaum and so we see that what Jesus records in other scriptures it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than for wealthy men to enter into the kingdom of heaven now what does it mean well material prosperity and material wealth and spiritual exposure when we don't repent is a terrible thing. You have to sit back and say to yourself, if Jesus took the time to say woe to these cities, three of them, and they did because they didn't repent. How will America be judged one day? The freedom of speech, prosperity, spiritual awakening, revivals, churches everywhere. And yet we have an unrepentant nation over issues like human rights, abortion, immorality. What kind of judgment will come for America when they've been exposed to so much spiritual wealth, so much prosperity, and yet we don't repent as a nation? Scary when you think about it. This little remote passage of scripture is found in Matthew only, and yet it's very, very convicting not only as a nation but as individuals when we have all of the spiritual blessings that we have when we have all of the prosperity that we have 
and we don't repent regularly, what kind of judgment will come to us? I don't think we'll be destroyed utterly, and, and I don't think we'll go to hell, but will we get a well done, my good and faithful servant? I don't know. Think about it for a minute. Read through this passage. And you say, well, I don't know a lot about these cities other than Capernaum. Well, yeah, the scripture tells us there's an awful lot of things that Jesus did. It's not recorded in the scriptures. You'll find that over in John chapter 21, verse 25. But he tells us a lot of things were done there. And yet the cities didn't repent. Would you take a moment today, think about your life, and ask yourself, have I repented properly of all of my sin? Is God fully pleased with me? I know he can't possibly be fully pleased with America. That's my thought for the day. Have a great weekend and don't forget to go to church. God bless. Sin is anything that's displeasing to God. All of us are guilty. There's written, there's none that is righteous, not even one. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. And if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus was raised from the dead, we shall be saved. For with a mouth man confesses, and with a heart he believes. And whoever believes and calls in the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved.